Hello again, everybody. This is Rob Bobberty, and welcome to Bohemian Killing. This is an interesting looking game. I haven't played it yet, so we're going to learn what it's about together. But uh, from what I can tell in the description, it is a courtroom simulator and a walking simulator. Kind of a courtroom drama game and a walking simulator kind of all rolled into one. So we're going to see how this works. It's like this game adapts to the choices you make. Each lie can change the verdict for better. It's like you spend part of the game in the in the uh, in the courtroom trying to solve what's going on and all that, and part of it like walking through and remembering what was happening. Hint: Remember that during your testimony, you are not creating history; you are lying about what has already happened. In Bohemian Killing, there are hundreds of possibilities. You can frame other people, lie, manipulate evidence and witnesses, plead guilty, or even act insane. Okay, fascinating. Okay. She should be here by now. Okay. Press T to check the time. So let's get started. I don't know what that says. Oh, okay. I'm a murderer. I'm gonna murder you. I'm gonna murder Isaac. There's already blood. Why is there blood already? There are interactions that will skip time. Try it by using the book on the table. I don't wanna skip. Wait, do I wanna skip time? Oh. Oh, okay. Read a book. In game time runs like in real life, and it is important to arrange a reliable testimony. Okay, you can skip dialogues by holding E. During your testimony, you will skip a single dialogue. Right? During cutscenes in the courtroom, it will skip an entire scene and begin your next testimony. Okay. Okay. Where did I go? <laughs> to another room, apparently. Oh, yeah. What just happened? Is it me? What the hell? What's going on? Is that me? Oh. Hi. Hi there. I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> How you doing? Sorry about that. Press left. Okay. It said I didn't. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I think I don't have a choice. Here. Oh, my squishy blood. <laughs> the move. Okay. I don't really understand what I'm going to be doing here. Because I thought it would be like... I thought it would be a long part that... Of, of walking around there. I don't I don't know. Monsieur I don't... Eaton. What? What? Who? Monsieur Eaton. Monsieur Eaton? Monsieur Eaton. Please de justice. Hint, you can skip that. Okay, okay, okay. I'm probably not going to skip because i got to read everything. Okay, so yeah. I don't really know what I'm doing exactly. I think I wasn't doing quite what I was supposed to be doing there. Um, I'm probably going to fail. I'm just going to assume I'm going to fail this first time and see how it goes. And if it's interesting, I'll make another video, put a little more work into it. But well, I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky. Hey, there she's dead up in the corner there. I see her there. Okay, so I read the book for 15 minutes. I didn't. I don't know what the time said. I looked at the time, but I didn't actually pay attention to it. Oh, I'm Mr. Eaton, sorry. I'm talking to you. Oh, me? Hi. I'm sorry, Monsieur le Président. I, I was thinking. <laughs> Do you understand the indictment? Oh. Sorry. But I have to ask the prosecutor to repeat. Monsieur Eaton, <laughs> do you consider it to be a joke? Uh, You're charged with a serious crime. Please stay focused. Okay, Monsieur Prosecutor, please continue. I mean, As I said, I accuse Alfred Eaton of murdering Marie Capet on the 17th of October 1894 I... in Paris. Was, uh, that was day, Alfred Eaton was at the theatrical premiere of Prométhée, Vol du Feu, which took place at Opéra Garnier. What? As it is apparent from the testimony of witnesses, the accused left at about 8.30 p.m., before the end of the banquet. I left at 8.30. Okay. At about 9.25 p.m., he rented a room in his That's name true. at the Caucasus Hotel. Okay. which is adjacent to the building in which he lives. Okay. It was in that room uh, that approximately at 11.16 p.m., Marie Capet was murdered. Murdered. Next, uh, the accused returned to his house, and at about 10.05 p.m., he entered his apartment in the company of Marie Capet, or let her in. It results from the fingerprint analysis it did not show the victim's fingerprints on the outer side of the door, only on the inner. 
Alfred Eaton, by means of deception or threats, led the victim to his secret workshop, which is located on the first floor of his apartment. The police report did not indicate any signs of struggle or resistance. The accused probably wanted to test on Marie Capet the prototype of a torture machine of his construction, oh, great. which was in the room Real along psycho. with medical Not tools and manuals of psycho torture. Murder. Okay. So... When Marie Capet realized what the accused intended to do, she grabbed a metal rod lying in the room and hit the accused on the head. I don't remember which that. Which caused a real threat to his life and, according to doctors, may have caused unconsciousness. So, wait. The fingerprints of Marie Capet's left hand were found on the rod, as okay. well as Alfred Eaton's traces of blood. Okay. Traces of blood were also found on the floor of that room. At the time of his arrest, the accused had an extensive wound on his head, as confirmed by medical examination. These, in, this, these facts might be related. Seizing the opportunity, Mary Capet fled from the apartment. Okay, and that's why I go find she her. She was stressed and in Maybe. a hurry. This was confirmed by her numerous fingerprints secured on the inside of the door of the apartment of the accused. Then, Marie Capet ran into a nearby hotel, the Caucasus. Okay. It was the same hotel in which the accused rented a room. Okay. As it appears so, from the testimony of the clerk, so Marie Capet was extremely stressed, repeating the word doctor and police. Okay. Probably she wanted to call for help. When the clerk went to get some water to calm Marie Capet, she disappeared. Okay. The next day, on the 18th of October, about 8.32 a.m., a maid found her body in a room rented by Alfred Eaton. It was covered with numerous fingerprints of the victim and of the accused, and had traces of the victim's blood. The immediate cause of death was a severe blow to the abdomen in the liver area with a blade of about 14 centimeters length. Did you call that a blow to the, the murder the weapon blood? constructed by the accused was secured in his apartment. Okay. Marie Capet's unwashed blood stains were still present on it, He's not a as very, well as the fingerprints of the accused. A really bad murderer. Apparently. The accused is also charged by the testimony of one of the neighbors who passed the accused at the front door of the building in which they both lived at about 11.30 p.m. The witness testified that the clothing of the accused was stained with blood. I have no idea how it could Unfortunately, possibly get out of this. Unfortunately, the sage clothes were not found. At the time of committing the alleged crime, the move. accused was sane, which means he acted consciously. Uh, you think so, huh? For committed crimes, the accused shall be liable to life imprisonment or this look the death to you? penalty. Does this look sane to you? I'm spinning in my chair. As the accused finally understood the indictment. Huh? Oui, Monsieur le Président. Oh. Does the accused plead guilty? To the charges against him. I, I don't know. No, Monsieur le Président. Okay. Does the accused want to provide explanations? Oui, Monsieur le Président. I uh, Monsieur le Président, could I ask you for some conversation time with my client? Of course. I just wish it would not take too much time. We've already wasted too much of it. Monsieur Eaton, please note that you can look through evidence at any moment. It is available by pressing okay. tab. I will show the defense evidence to the court at the time of your uncovering during the testimony. It looks it like I should be over. It looks like I should be over to the right. If oh shoot! If necessary, okay. you can recall the string of events according to the prosecution by pressing the Q key. Q. Oh, okay. Okay. This is a lot of. Oh my God! This is going to be a lot of information. If okay. necessary, you can recall the string of events according to the procedure. Yeah, yeah, you just said that. By pressing the Q key. What's next? Uh, will you need my help during testimony? 
I, I will give you my advice and remind you of important facts and events. Uh, no. I'm going to do it all myself. We are ready, uh, Monsieur le Président. Then let's get started. What the hell am I doing? Monsieur Eaton, what were you doing on October 17th, 1894? From 8 to 12 p.m. 8 to 12 p.m. There was a theatrical premiere of Promethe that day, what am I which doing? was sponsored I by Le Feu, like, in which I am yet. the lead designer. Starting at 7 p.m., I was at the premiere at the Opéra Garnier. Around 8.30 p.m. after the play, oh, hi. I found I that I did not guys want there. to attend the dull banquet, and instead I preferred to work. I said goodbye to Hugo Argent, uh, president of Le Feu, and I drove home. I got there at about 9 p.m. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay. Now we're back in the walking thing. Remember that during your testimony, testimony you're not creating history. You're lying about what has already happened. You can frame other people like... Okay, so... The walking part here that's coming up is me telling my testimony. So I don't want to do what I think happened, I want to do what gives me an alibi or something. Or, give, or something. I think I'm going to go for insane. I'm going to go for the insane defense, because I don't know what else to do. Um, I really have no idea what I'm doing with this, because there haven't been a whole lot of options. It's mostly just people talking to me, <laughs> telling me what, what I did. For a moment, I admired the charming streets of Montmartre. Mm, birdie. Switch the ignition. Okay. I tried to start the car, but it ran out of fuel. Damn it. I all I decided to go for an evening walk. We're going in here. Need a witness. No, no. If, wait, wait, wait. That won't work because they won't remember me. For a moment, I admired the charming street. I do not recall that now. What? What? Why why did you turn red? I do not recall. Oh, I can't go that way? Is that what that's saying? Hey, birds! Okay, okay, I went in here and talked to this dude. Hi! I entered the Café de Paris Cafeteria. I wanted to drink some good wine and eat a piece of cheese. A group of Parisian rabble tried to throw me out, screaming that there was no room for gypsy thieves. They beat me and threw me into the street. I was all covered in blood. Did you report this fact to Ma police ah, officers? What are you doing here? No, Monsieur le Président. I decided that it was not worth losing my time. And why is that? A second of my work is more important than the lifetime of each and every one of those plebeians. <laughs> Besides, wow. if I had reported damn, it, damn full of yourself. I would have done them a favor. What do you mean, Monsieur Eaton? I don't know In what I'm In jail, about. they would have had better living conditions than those holes that they call houses. I understand. Please return to your testimony. Okay. All right. I'm dying, apparently, now. Uh, I looked at that, and then, uh... For a moment, I admired the charms of Montmartre. Yes, I did. I do not recall. Okay, I don't recall that part. Okay, what about this thing? Is it... I do not recall. Well, that where am I supposed to go? Can I not go this way? I do not recall that. Part. Where am I supposed to go? There's nowhere to go. Oh, here, here. Wait, what did it say? Open the gate. Then I opened the gate. Open the gate. And I admired the statue, and then I admired some plants, and then I don't know what else I do. Okay. Don't seem to be a whole lot of options, really. I opened the door and walked into the cocaine. Oh, okay. I got covered in blood. That's important. Remember that in order to arrange a credible line of defense, you'll have to take time take time lapse into account. Press T to access the watch. And match your own actions with evidence. Press tab. And the string events according to the prosecution. Press Q. This is complicated, and I don't think I'm going to win. I think I'm going to die. Okay, time. Time. It is. Okay. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Uh. Wait, what happened at nine? I don't remember. Uh. 22. It's 11 30. And the change events. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so. 
<laughs> so, okay, so this is the whole event. This is 7 to 8. No, 7 to 8. Yeah, 7 to 8.30. Oh, 8.30 is when I left the thing. So what time did I say? What time was it? Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. It is... 9. So I've left... Oh, I go to rent a room at 9.25 to match their time. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. So at 9.20... Wait, is that even on here? Oh, 9.25. 9.25, I gotta rent a room. But I don't want to do that before there. I have to do that or it doesn't match their evidence. And then I enter the apartment. So I have to enter the apartment but make it make sense that I didn't kill her. Is kind of what I'm going for here. I think I'm too early for this still, though. Right? I don't know how fast time is going. Oh, it said real time, didn't it? Oh, shoot. I gotta wait. Oh, that's right. There's things that'll take time. I gotta, like, read a book or something. Uh, can I admire the plant? Or sit down? No. What can I do? I can't do anything. There's a book in the one. I don't want to talk to you yet. Throw a coin! Next, I threw a few francs to the fountain in the hotel. Okay, did that take up time? Uh, no, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wait. Ugh, I gotta kill like 20 minutes here. I don't know how to do that. Okay. Right, I think that's what I gotta do. I gotta, and then, and then, 10.05, I have to enter the apartment. Let's see. Let's see. Well, it does, uh, how does it know the time on that? It's just assuming that part. Uh, I don't know how true that is there. And then she has to run. Oh wait. Oh wait, wait. I gotta go back. I gotta go back to the apartment. That's right. That's not here. Here I gotta rent the room. You know, I, this is gonna take forever if I don't just kind of move it along. So I'm just gonna move it along, even if it means I lose. Is that a different time than I got? Wait. What? Oh, it's not working. Okay. Man, I'm like bloody here. Run Apparently, the clerk noticed my state, but the rules of savoir vivre did not let him make any commentary. Yes. I wanted to rent a room in a hotel, but the clerk said that a room had already been rented in my name. He said it's on the top floor and gave me a spare key. What? I must add that the conversation with this man was not held at about 9.25 p.m., uh, as according to his testimony, but at a different time. Monsieur Eaton, do you claim that you did not rent that room? Oui, Monsieur le Président, but I knew it could not be a coincidence. Hi. The name hey, Eaton is not that common. Okay. So you tried to learn more from the clerk? Yes. However, he hid behind his professional secrecy. I knew he wouldn't tell me a what thing. What do you know? I do not understand one more thing. You live next to the hotel. Yeah. So why did you want to rent a room there? That was one of my big Sometimes questions. Sometimes I meet up with some girls of the Moulin Rouge, and uh -huh. due to my reputation, I, I prefer not to do it in my apartment. Did you meet Marie Capet face to face? No, Monsieur le Président, never. I understand. Never. Please continue. Okay. Okay, so... For whatever reason now, because I... So I'm just saying, yeah, his time's wrong. The guest book. Well, the guest book thing. Let's see. Oh, I'm just going to see a hint. To say you never rented a room. Just to testify that you rented a room, then explain to the court why you did it. Not bad. Plan to see me in a good alibi, but you can also further investigate this alleged renting and try to prove that someone else did it. Maybe the guest book will be helpful. Guest book. Okay. Okay, this is going to be a long video. I'm just going to play. Oh, is that the guest book right here? Ah, there we go. Check the guest book. I wanted to check the guest book, but I couldn't do that with the clerk nearby. Hmm. Okay. So, do I have to get him out of here somehow? Let's see. Ah, hey, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? No. Okay. Uh, what was next? Next was, uh... Yeah, I don't I, I got a entrance apartment at 225 in the company of American pet or let her in. He probably wanted to test on her prototype of torture. Okay. If I go there oh, if I go there earlier, 
I go to my apartment. If I go to my apartment earlier, then I can say that that's why it looks like I was there, but I was there at a different time. Later, I opened the door and walked out into the street. Because I get there. Because if I get there without her, if I get there before she was there, then I can say, you know, I never saw her. I wouldn't have seen her body or anything. If I get there after, then obviously I would have seen her. So that doesn't make sense. So I think I got to get in and out of there and then say, and say that I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing here. Okay, somewhere around here I've got an apartment, I think. I opened the gate. I did. Is someone about to run me over? Am I going this way? Where's my apartment? For a moment, I uh, I do not recall that. Okay. I don't know where my apartment is. Is this my apartment? I no. Do not no, I don't. That. This is a weird testimony to say that over and over again. Can I run? Oh, can I run? Is this my apartment? What is this? Ah. I know. But no one answered. Okay. Oh, is that where they kicked me out? No, this is. Am I gonna get, gonna get beat up again? I read the restaurant's menu. Okay. Yeah, I'll just pretend I did that. Uh, rude I don't know what I'm looking at. For a moment, I admired the charms of Montmartre. Okay, sure. We'll do that. And what time is it now? It is. It's the like, <laughs> I haven't even rented the room according to that. What is. Oh, 1116 is the murder, so I got plenty of time for that. But I want to enter the. I opened the door and entered my building. Oh, my building, okay. I want to get in and out of the apartment before the murder. In the game, you can find interaction marked plus X minutes. It means that the object will skip time by indicating the number of minutes. It may indicate the number of minutes that is useful when you're waiting for an appointment. But, so I want to get in and out. Before the murder, go somewhere where I have an alibi. No, that, no, that doesn't make sense because that alibi wouldn't be real. I keep thinking it's loading, but it's saying that press that. Uh, check your mail, sure. I found a letter from the Ministère de la Justice. Who? What? I didn't really catch that at all. Oh, Palace Justice. Remember that in order to arrange a credible line of defense, you'll have to take take time lapse into account. That runs the string of that. What the heck I'm doing now? Okay. Why, am I, why are we loading anyway? Am I going somewhere now? Monsieur le Président, oh. this is the evidence mark with number two. Oh. It clearly shows that my client designed his interrogation machine with only the best intentions. According to his plan, it was supposed to be forwarded to the prosecutor's office and law enforcement agencies to improve the effectiveness of interrogation. Okay. The prosecutor's suggestions that my client has supposedly <laughs> intended to use this device to torture helpless women is hasty and completely untrue. Okay, it is kind of weird. This letter only proves that the accused was looking for application of his torture machine and had not found any support from Ministère de la Justice so he decided to test it on an innocent woman. But if I the court supports the view that the mere fact of an offer to the Minister de la Justice does not constitute sufficient evidence that the allegedly accused acted in good faith when creating such a device. Okay. Monsieur Eaton, please go back to your testimony. Okay. Yeah, see, I, why, why would I send a letter to whoever they are to say, hey, I made this machine to, 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 get, testi to get evidence or testimony or whatever, to get, to get information. I noticed that my neighbors still cluttered the hallway with his old bicycle. God, people. Okay, open the door. And I opened the door. Then I opened the door. I closed the inner door. Then I closed the inner door. I opened the inner door. Then I opened the door. Okay. What's this do? Go shopping? What is this? Oh. Uh. Oh, I see. This is, uh. I checked if my vending machine works fine. 
It's supposed to be kind of steampunky or something, I think, where... I looked at posters on the bulletin board. Okay, yes I did. I'm gonna take this to... No, how much time do I have? How much time do I have here? Uh, I still... It's only like 9.05, and I gotta go... It's like two hours. It seems like everything's taking too long. Like, it will take longer if I take the stairs up? Or does that not make a difference? It looks then, like... I used the stairs. Okay, so that killed some time, right? I knocked, but no one answered. Okay. I don't know why I'm knocking. I shouldn't be. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying all these things. I decided to use the stairs instead of the elevator. Yes, because I can. Where's my room? Where's my place? Is this mine? No, that's, that's not mine. I wouldn't be knocking. Wait, can I turn the light out? Light off just for fun. Turn off the light. I checked the light switch to see if it was already repaired, but it still didn't work. Oh, okay. Enter my apartment. I opened the door and entered my apartment. Okay. Hint, you can skip to... Okay. I glanced on the frames hanging on the wall. Their simplicity calmed me down and, and allowed me to focus. Okay. Here we are, in my apartment. Blah, 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 blah. For a moment, I admired the new sculptures that I had recently ordered. Hey, baby. How's it going? I should, like, clean my glasses or something. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I, I'm having a little trouble seeing. I used the stairs. Okay, can I... I don't know what I can do. There's supposed to be all these things that can kill time. I haven't found anything yet. Work on your invention. Oh, whoa, this... I checked the elements of my cleaning machine, assessing what remained to be done. Okay. Is this a different one? Okay. I started to work on my new cleaning machine. After 30 minutes, I decided to take a break. Okay. Let's see. Make a call. Let's make a call. I don't know who we're going to call. I spent a few minutes talking on the phone. Okay. Who did you call? It has nothing to do with the case, Monsieur le Président. Well, please continue. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to ask about that. Okay, I, I don't want to waste more time here. How much time do I have now? Oh, it is a quarter... Ten. According to this, I entered the apartment at 10.05. 10.05, was it? I think... 1005, but I don't want to enter with it. I want to leave before it. Uh, metal... I don't know. History of Torture book. Mark's testimony. Okay. Here okay, when the clerk went to get some water, she disappeared. Uh, the murder the next day. Okay, there's no real evidence. No, Nobody saw me go in there. I thought someone did. Okay, so all I need to do is... Oh, wait. Well, no, she dies in there, doesn't she? Shoot, let's turn the music on. I turned on the gramophone and listened to some music. Sure. I turned on the gramophone okay. and listened I don't hear to any some music. music. Can I jump? I'll just be crazy. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. And I'm going to go beat up those... Oh, wait. What about the metal, metal rod? Where's the metal rod? Is that in the bedroom? Then I opened the door. Something about a metal, metal, where is that? Pass the accused at the front door of the building, which they both left the clip. Okay. Okay, okay. 23.30. So, 11.30. Right, yeah, 11.30 I gotta leave. I gotta be at the front door of the building at 11.30, but it doesn't say I'm in the building necessarily. Uh, where is... Oh, the dagger. Uh, my dagger needs to be somewhere. Uh, uh, there's a metal rod somewhere. I feel like I gotta do something with the metal rod. Oh, change my clothes after. Wait. Go to sleep. No. <laughs> 10 hours plus 10 hours. I give up. <laughs> Screw it. Just forget it. 
Op open hidden door. I opened a hidden door behind my bookcase. Oh, this is my leading to my second workshop. My second workshop. Can okay. you explain to the court why you have a hidden workshop? <laughs> I work there on my secret projects that I create independently of Le Feu. I understand. Please continue. Okay. So, I pick up the I dagger. I picked up the mechanical dagger lying on the desk. Why do you need a weapon, Monsieur Eaton? I wear it to ensure my safety. Do you feel unsafe? I am a wealthy gypsy. At least one third of the population of this city wants me dead. I understand. Please continue. The I the checked if the designs of my most important invention were still in place. Okay. Please tell the court which invention these ah. designs are related to. Uh, no, <laughs> it is classified information, Monsieur President. Yeah. Good. Please continue. Okay. Stop invading my my thought process here. What is this? What is that? I go outside. How do we get out of here? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Alright, what do I do with this knife? Do I put the knife somewhere? How do I... Now I'm stuck with the knife. Shoot. I didn't mean to keep the knife. I was tired. Oh, no, no! The banquet, so I immediately went to sleep. I well, was even too tired to undress. Is it all you want to testify, Monsieur Eaton? I oui, just, Monsieur le Président. I just screwed it all up. And so I closed the hearing. I screwed it all up. It's time to present your position. <laughs> I just screwed it all up because I just kind of randomly clicked. Uh, incredible line of defense. You'll take time lapse. Yeah, I just, I just kind of babbled. The worst testimony ever, and I'm going to jail, and they're going to put me to death. So maybe another time I'll give it another shot, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to die because my, I have the knife on me. First of all, if I'd at least put the knife somewhere, that might have helped. I was thinking, I don't, I didn't mean to actually click the. Bed. I was trying to find somewhere to see if you put the knife down somewhere. Because if the knife was out and available, then you could say, well, someone else used the knife. I keep reading Monsieur the President, the accused tried to trick himself off the responsibility. He used cunning rhetoric, trying to hide more and more of his new lies. What? However, in view of the evidence presented by the prosecutor, I have no doubt that Alfred Eaton defendant who appeared today before the court murdered Marie Capet in cold blood. I Please, do it. let the high was court the one not man. be deceived by his tearful stories about a poor gypsy from the country who gained his success with hard can, work can I just open and this which door? Marie Capet so cleverly tried to destroy. Hi guys. It was the accused Hello who destroyed the life of a poor no. girl and her family with full premeditation. No, no, no. And what did that poor girl do to deserve such cruel fate? She was searching for a better life and was employed as a maid in the same here. building in which a dangerous psychopath... I don't know if she worked there. I missed that part. I don't know if that really matters. According to well, the could prosecution, have she could the accused or, is she's... guilty. Monsieur le Président. No! Therefore, I apply for recognition of Alfred Eaton, defendant who appeared today before the court, guilty of all charges against him, and for imposition of the death penalty by beheading mm. on the guillotine. Oh! Thank you. My beautiful Monsieur deck. le Président, uh, Monsieur Prosecutor used a lot of high flown words. However, during the preparation of indictment, he made many mistakes. Okay, help me out, man. Hotel, Count on you. My client had rented the room in the Caucasus Hotel on the night of the murder. However, as he testified, he had planned a meeting with a prostitute, not to murder Marie Capet. As to the alleged attempt to use the torture device on the victim, my client did not intend to use his interrogation device, which the prosecutor describes as a torture machine, <laughs> neither on Marie Capet nor on anyone else. This is indicated by the letter sent by my client to the Ministère de la Justice with a proposal of a lawful use of the equipment to serve the law 
as well as society. It is important to emphasize the relationship of Marie Capet and my client. According to the testimony of the victim's parents, she felt a deep resentment and contempt, both for my customer and for his work and success. As to the meeting oh, with me? Marie Capet in his apartment, my client has never met with Marie Capet in his apartment. We do not know where Madame Capet's fingerprints inside of that apartment came from. As for the murder, as my client testified, he did not kill Marie Capet. So, who did? As for the testimony of the neighbor who saw Alfred Eaton entering the building covered in blood, according to my client's testimony, that meeting had never taken place. So the witness made a false testimony. Taking into account the evidence from the neighbor's opinions, the witness might have had a motive, an aversion towards my client, and racial prejudice. Thank you, Monsieur le Président. <laughs> okay. Prison de la Santé. Remember that in order to reach a credible, I'll get the same thing. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know that any of that really made any sense. Basically amounted to, uh, no, my client said he didn't do it, Your Honor, so uh, he didn't do it. That's pretty much what my defense is. Yep, there we go. Do I, uh, do I have to wait for the guillotine now? Oh, do I, do I have to actually wait it out, or am I waiting for the verdict? Oh, I actually, oh, read a book. What's this do? Oh, what was the point of that? It didn't do anything. It didn't add time, did it? Okay. What am I supposed to do here now? Read the letter from the, the parents. Letter Chef, from the parents. Your father and I are quite sure that you did not do it. Okay, thank you. You couldn't have. Nope. We love you, and we are waiting for you at home. Please leave this cursed Paris and return to your home parts. Mama... Hey, Papa. Okay, thanks, Pa. Yes. Oh. Papa asks you not to mention the hotel guest book. Apparently, you know what that means. Don't mention that. Sure. Your father and I are praying for you, and we believe that the court will be merciful. Mama and Papa. It's a little late for any of that, isn't it? Postscriptum. Papa is sorry that it did not work as he had planned. What? What the hell is going on here? Am I some kind of conspiracy with my parents now? Okay, that's not doing anything. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, there's more letters. Am I, was I supposed to come back here? Hugo Argent, Marie Cut, I can pay his parents. An anonymous letter. Okay. I am in a deep regret that you had to stand before the court accused of such a terrible deed. Yep, sucks. I assure you that I deeply believe in your innocence and will do Thanks. my best so that you can continue to work for the glory of Le Feu and toute la France. Okay. Cordialement, Hugo Argent. Sure. Is this so, at the very beginning of the game, you kill someone, kill her. So is that just showing you, yeah, you're guilty, the whole thing is trying to not... Not to be found guilty. You keep your scum. You can be sure that you will Jeez. take responsibility for what you have done to our daughter. You will be beheaded. And even neither your millions nor your connections will be able to help you. Yeah, I think there's a good chance. Is the stolen money not enough? Is your wrongdoing to all these poor people not enough? You had to tear everything away from us, including our only daughter. Death to the rich. Vive la nouvelle révolution. Okay. Monsieur Lucan, the French Gypsy Association wishes to send you support and condolences for the persecution caused by your gypsy origin. We are aware that it was the main cause of your indictment. We offer you a safe haven if you decide to leave the prison in less official way. I can escape? One of our persecuted members, who had also been imprisoned in the prison de la Santé, 
mentions the decayed walls in most of the cells. Maybe you could use this information. <sighs> Signed. It's not over. I can escape. Maybe. Okay. Uh, okay. So decayed walls. This here, I guess. But what do I do with it? I need. I need a weapon or something. Oh sh! <laughs> I did it again. I tried to click the book. Oh, well, I, I couldn't find it. Please hurry. The court is ready to announce the verdict. Oh, we stole him. Right. In the game, you can find interactions marked plus so, yeah, okay. okay. The verdict on behalf of the Republic Française. The court, as present, hereby finds that Alfred Eaton, accused of murdering Marie Capet, is. Guilty of the charges against him. No! And sentences the accused to the death penalty no! by beheading on the guillotine. The executions will be done in Prison de la Santé the next day. Next day? Jeez. No! What? Okay. Uh, okay. Remember that during your testimony, you're not creating history or lying about what has already happened in Bohemian Killing. There are hundreds of possibilities. You can frame other people, lie, manipulate evidence and witnesses, plead guilty, even act insane. Now, it seemed like throughout this, I didn't have many options, but it's. I think there were a lot of little things I could have done that would open up whole things. Um, especially once I, like, I got to my apartment, there are a lot of things I didn't do. Uh, unlocked evidence. Oh, okay. <laughs> unlocked evidence in defense of one of 13. Judge's confidence gained negative two. Obvious lies uncovered by the court two. Discovered game endings seven of eight. There are seven endings. There are eight endings. I just, I did number seven. Justification of the verdict. There is no doubt that Alfred e. Ethan is guilty of the murder of Mary Capay. Excuse me. The court now found no mitigating circumstances in favor of the accused. Therefore, the most severe punishment was imposed. Okay, I'm dead. Okay, remember that during... Okay, same thing we said. Okay, so I did not do <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Damn. Okay. Is it gonna... Yeah, it is. I was gonna say, is it gonna actually show me going into the guillotine? Guillotine. How come I'm inside in, like, a court? No! Uh, is it gonna have, like... Is it actually gonna roll? <laughs> I should have the view roll. <laughs> okay. So, oh, that's kind of cool. It shows them all there. Okay, so I might try this again. I might see if I can get all the endings. Oh, there's nine. I thought I said eight. I thought I said there were eight endings. I thought I said seven out of eight or something. No, no. Anyway. Okay, so nine endings. Ethan beheaded on the la guillotine. Okay, so, yeah, I did bad. And maybe I'll do a little more, and next time I'll be able to... You know, I'll just I'll see, do it as if I do it another video, I can do it as a continuation of this one, so I can skip most of the stuff I've already seen. Uh, but it's fun. Uh, the link is I'll put the link to it down below. It is on Steam, I believe. It is not a free game, but it is pretty cheap. I don't know the price offhand, but I'll put that down there too. Uh, but anyway, check that out if you want. It's pretty fun. Uh, but thank you for watching. This has been Rob Poppy, and as always, like, subscribe, and shares are always appreciated. And I think this is really loud. Hopefully, you can hear me. <laughs> Have a great day.